In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a list box to your user form. So here we have um, what could either be an invoice or a PO or something else where you're, you want to have a list of um, a list of, of parts here at the price and then you would put in the quantity that you, you would need. Now, the first thing that I want to show you is on sheet one, I have um, I have downloaded some parts uh, and I just have a list here. Now, I've named these parts parts in the named range so that I'm able to access them through my through my user user form. Now, let's just show you I'll demonstrate how it's done. And so, I'm on the developer tab, I go to macros. I go show form and then I run that. So here is my um, here is my user form with the list box in here. Now let me select a few parts. Let's say this one and this one and maybe this one at the end. And then I click on add. And here you have um, now you have your parts added into this form. Um, it's just a matter of um, you putting on a quantity, so we'll do two of these and three of those and three of these. Now all you'd have to do is total it up and there you have either your invoice or your PO or whatever you need to have done. So this was part of a course that I was developing this week. Um, I normally create my videos on whatever I'm working on during the week. And so what I was working on during this week was um, a user um, user form course, which I'll have a link to on the in the description of my video. So let me show you how I did this. So I have created a user form. And so how you do that is you go to your visual basic and then you go insert and you go user form and this is user form one. Now, it, I haven't changed the, uh, the name of it because I need to have it as user form one for what I'm doing. Now, what I did is I put on a list box in here and the list box is, um, is the, this one here, which is next to the combo box and in between the check box. And so that I just drew this out. So now let's click on the list box and I'll show you what I've done for settings. If you notice, I have two columns here. I have the, the part number, or the part description, and then I have a price here. And so what we're going to do first is um, I've named this uh, list box as list select parts. And I have column count two. So I wanted to display two columns, which is my description and my price. And then I go down a little further and it says uh, on where it says multi select the, the default is for it to be single select, but I would like to be able to select more than one thing. And so I have said multi select. And then to display my parts here, what I've gone to is down to row source and my I've named my range parts and so that's what's displayed in the in the list box okay so now why don't we double click this double click the ad so that we can see what the code is so this here is my code for the the clicking the button to add and so dim add parts as a range so I'm going to name the range on my invoice and then X is just a counter and it's an integer. And so what we're doing is we're defining the range of our invoice sheet two, which is where my invoice is, or you could put on any sheet or you could put active sheet. I imagine you could put rows count comma three. And if you look on my sheet, the, the description is in uh, column C. So that's row three. So that's where we're going. And then we're going to the bottom and then we're going coming back up and we're finding the first row that has uh, that has text in it. And then we're going down, we're offsetting by one row so that we can go down. Uh, 
for x equals zero, the number when you select the number of things in um, in a list box, the, it counts the starting at zero. So zero, one, two, three. So x equals zero to me, me being the short form for the user form. List select parts, and that's what I've named my uh, list box. Um, list select parts. List count minus one. Okay. If me list parts selected x, then if the first one you've added to it, you add parts, you go to the range, add parts that you've defined above there equals list parts um, dot list what you've put there. And then in the next row, you go, what you're going to do is you're going to offset one column. So you've got the description in here. So now we're going to add parts, offset offset go over one and so now we're going to put in um, the price here okay so now after we've done the first row then we said add parts equals add parts we're offsetting one column so or i mean we're offsetting one row so we're going down one row so we can add another part in there then uh and if and then next x and for x equals zero to me selected parts list count minus one if so this this whole piece here is if you've entered if you've pressed add and you haven't um, selected any parts so if me list parts dot selected x then me list parts selected equals false you're not going to put anything in there if they haven't selected anything and then we have an index n x and n sub now if you don't want to have to always uh, go to the user form and uh, click on it and go run because uh, that's very annoying. And so what I've done is I've written a little bit of code here. And this code is so that you can show um, show the user, user form or show form that you've created. And now it's specifying a width. This is a big heads up. If you don't specify a width and a height, um and the dot show with it you you can have the great growing or shrinking user form it might come up big or it might come up small depending on when you do it and so this is a width statement the three there are three steps and then the end width and then the end sub i quite often get asked um how do i put put something to a button now i have it going off of a macro list here but if I wanted to put this on a button, let's go to our toolbox here. Let's go get the button icon. Let's go here and draw a little button in here. And then it's going to ask you, um, what do you want to use? And so I'm going to say my show form button. And then we say, OK. And so now what I can do is I can um, I can edit this and just put add in there. Okay, so why don't I take out uh, the price and the quantity here. And now let's run this again. And let's pick some other things, this and this and this. And we'll say add and then we'll move this off the side we'll close this and put in three three is a good number three three so that's how you add a list box to your user form uh, please check out the course that i have linked in the description and please subscribe